Deacon? Hey. Is everything okay? What's wrong? Uh, actually, that's not why I'm here. Okay. Came by to see if there's anything you need for the uh, infirmary. Actually, we're running low on everything. I mean, we could always use more meds, sterile bandages, instruments. Uh, here. Hmm. A Liston knife. Yeah, it was used by doctors in the Civil War to perform operations in the field. Operations? Yeah, you know, when they didn't have any anesthesia or laudanum. I wrote down where you might be able to find one. <laughs> it's the brochure for the Visitor Center at Sherman Sherman's Camp. Sherman's Camp, yeah, yeah. The plate's crawling with all the freakers. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, uh, Deacon. <sighs> Thank you. Hello. Hey, uh, I gotta ask you. I heard you riding in last night with Ricky, and, uh, who's that guy? Boozer. Or his name is William, or Bill. I I've always just called him Boozer. Don't ask why. I wasn't... I mean, is he gonna be okay? I stopped by to say hi to Addy. He didn't look so good. Yeah, he's gonna be fine as soon as he's patched up. We're, we're riding north, you got that? So just drop it, okay? Bye. Hey, hey, uh, do you think freaks remember anything about their life, you know, from before? They're like a bunch of out. Hold on a stalk. I'll open stronger. You want to tell you something? Copeland, Deke at St. John. Come here. Deke, you out there? Hey, Cope. Hell of a guess. You got a job for me. Okay. Uh, I'll swing by when I get a chance. Speaking out. Center. Gotta find a way inside. Need that? Finally. Oh, where is it? God damn, it has gotta be close.
what we got. Left. This place has been picked over clean. Yes. Liston knife. This is it. Gotta get it back to Addy. Addy, I got that knife you were looking for. Thank you, Deacon. You have no idea how badly we need this. No problem. Glad to help. Ada Tucker to Deacon St. John. Come in. Deke, you out there? Hey, Tuck. Uh, you got a job for me? Okay. I'll swing by. Deacon out.
finished. Deke, let him in. Hey, Deke, good to see you. Hey, Deke, how's it going? Do you think the freaks remember anything? Like... St. John, no. I got a job for you. Cope. You want Manny to work on your bike? Only one way that's gonna happen. I gotta do runs for you. Yeah, I heard you. I need you to deal with a marauder camp near those burned-out shacks along the Cascade Highway. You know where I'm talking about? Yeah, I know it. Radio me if you want to know more. I'm heading to that drifter camp along the highway. What else can you tell me? Not much. They followed one of our supply runs. Got a little too close. I sent a man to check him out. He never came back. You sent anyone to find him? Yeah. A man named Deacon St. John. Cope out. Let's take a look around. All right, where? <laughs> Still got this. Cutting you loose. What? What? You're not. Copeland sent me. Come on, get up. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. They were following us on a supply run. I didn't know what to do. Hey, shut up. Can you run? What? Yeah, yeah. Well, then run. Go. Thank you. I'll tell Copeland you saved my life.
open the gate already. Open the gate. I know him. Yo, Deke, good to see you. Camper's life, hey, Manny? Wish I had a better set of tools. This should last you for a while. Good choice, man. Good choice. All right. Hey. What's up with you? Deacon St. John. Damon, how's it going? Nice. One upgrade coming up. I'll fix that gun up for you. Nice and good. Anything else I can get for you? Good choice. Okay. You come here if you need anything. on foot. You might want to send someone. I'll do that. Thank you, St. John. Copeland out. Can I help you? Deke, we got a problem. Yeah, Tuck. What's up? You remember Alkai said that Rippers were spotted. Heading our way? Yeah, I remember. He said he didn't try to stop them. Well, we've seen him scouting the hot springs. A couple of men followed him back to their camp. In the cliffs south of the Twin Craters. Goddamn rivers. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of them. I got a score to settle. A score? What are you talking about? Yeah, ne never mind. Hey, how's it going? How's the bike business going, Zanny? Fill her up. <laughs> See ya. Help you out!
Tucker, you there? You didn't get a... <laughs> I was saying! Tucker, you there? You didn't gotta worry about that red can no more. I took care of it. Nice job. It sounds like you did have a score to settle. Our guy said there's rumors going around that the Rippers are after the Michael Wings. Let's just say they fucked the wrong guy. <laughs> Open up. Hey. Oh. Here's that knife you were looking for. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. I'm here. Jesus, don't... Don't sneak up on me like that. Did you find anything out about Sarah, about the woman that I put on your chopper? Nothing. Nothing? Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. It's gonna take some time, okay? I'm risking my neck here. If anyone the, the back at HQ finds out, the, those guys with the guns over there, You're they'll all order the without same question. Team, look, it just looks that way. Look, I don't have time to explain it right now, but... It's why I need your help. My help? Just, look, just take it. It's a, it's a wavelength recorder and some GPS trackers. I just need you to... We're out of time. Look, I... Shit, I don't even know your name. Deacon, Deacon St. John. Well, look, Deacon St. John, if you want me to risk my neck helping you find whatever her name... Uh, Sarah? Then, yeah, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. Okay. Keep the radio close. I'll contact you in a couple of minutes. You don't even 
know my name? Oh, you're gonna know it before we're done, O'Brien. <laughs> and keep the radio close. It's been right here the whole time, you son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, how long do I have to wait now? Hello? Are you there, Deacon? Yeah, I'm here. Now, what's this all about? What do you want? All right, I put a blocker on this channel. It's secure. What do you want? I've sent a series of coordinates to your radio. I need you to go to those locations. What? Why? Just listen to me. There are several Nero task groups doing work. Then what? Why don't you ask them? I can't. Look, I said it's a long story and I don't have time to get into it right now. Let's just say the men above me, way above me, are running a lot of field missions. They're all separate from each other. Nobody knows what anyone else is doing. So the world ends and you assholes carry on like nothing's changed. Where? I sent you the coordinates. Okay, Jesus, O'Brien. All right, I will see what I can do. Just get to as many of them as you can. There are active LZs, landing sites, sample drop-off locations. Yeah, yeah, I got it, but you better have something for me, O'Brien. Drifter. Brian. Yeah, I'm here. What are you, uh? One of our helos is heading towards your position now. You have to follow it. Follow it? Why? Just, just go. Don't lose it. Jesus, okay. All right. What's going on, O'Brien? Why am I out here in the shit chasing choppers down for you? Their destination's classified. I'm locked out of their files. So I can't give you the coordinates to the LZ. You have to follow them in. Jesus, don't you guys have spy, spy satellites? Shit like that? And not that I have access to, no. I told you one. Locked out. Yeah, I heard you. Come on now, can't let him get too far ahead. Gotta slow him down. O'Brien, they're landing! Good. I have their coordinates now via your radio. You better go in on foot. On foot? Remember, you can't let them see you. O'Brien, I'm here. What do you want me to do? Each of these research units have a science guide, like me, guarded by a bunch of cards. See, you want me to sneak into an LZ filled with heavily armed Kevlar wearing soldiers who shoot on sight so that you can spy on some asshole wearing a pocket protector? Pocket protector? Really? I have a fucking PhD, asshole. Yeah, which stands for piled high and deep. Do you still have the treasure? I, I saw something. Well, I was gonna sell them, but most of us don't have access to shit like, you know, satellites. Place one of them on their helo. Almost all of these file missions include stuff that aren't on the books. I'm gonna find out where they're going next. O'Brien. You don't need to ask. I'm already looking into what records we have about where evacuees are taken. We're done. O'Brien out. <sighs> just Something's moving out there. What the hell are you guys doing out here? Subjects. 
What was it you called them? Bleachers. Well, there, well, this is only the third subject we've been able to study. As noted, their strength and ability to absorb damage make them extremely dangerous to approach. We've noted in other field reports that over a thousand have been spotted in this area. Whatever is causing the mutation, it's spread rapidly. What the hell, O'Brien? What's wrong? I'll tell you what's wrong. Your boys Anyone were coming out the guts of a freak while I was still alive. They're not my boys. And what do you care? Aren't you a... What do you guys like to call yourselves? Drifters? Don't you kill them infected for money or whatever shit you barter with? Yeah, I kill freaks, but I don't carve them open while they're still alive and listen to them scream. Did you get my data? Yeah, I got your data. Okay, I'm uploading it now. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. Brian? O'Brien? Brian. Ah, God damn it, he did it again. O'Brien, talk to me. Ah, shit, you better be in touch, O'Brien. Raider camp. Bunch of mean sons of bitches, aren't you? How many ambushes you set this week, huh? This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Well, hell no! I don't gotta listen to that bullshit. Murdering assholes can't let any of them get out of here alive. Sons of bitches. I like the set of bitches. Next time you set up an ambush, don't pick on the wrong guy. Well, we look like the type to have an underground bunker. Yeah?
Hello, a map. Looks like they marked it up pretty good.
Okay, here we go. blown. <laughs> this is it. Something out of this. No, not this way. Take a closer look.
off. Figures. Fields, yes. Bounty. At last. At last. Ah, God damn it, you gotta be around here somewhere. Size boots. Laces? That could be hers. <laughs> Tracks lead down this road. Lisa, god damn it, where are you at? Oh, you gotta be here somewhere. <laughs> How the hell am I gonna get in?
What's this? This uh, Lisa's handwriting, I want to forget. Well, it sounds like something she would write. I can use this. Smell a nest. Gotta be right here. I smell it. Uh, gotta be getting close.
Open up. It's that drifter. I worked at the Humane Society. How's it going? Having a look. Is that okay? All right. I got you. You can never go wrong with a tune-up. <laughs> Your bike's looking good now. That's a good piece. Nice and sturdy. This is gonna take hours. You think? Okay. Who the hell's my ratchet wrench? See you around. Find anything. Hey, I came by to see how the lazy bastard's doing. How you doing, uh, booze man? Are you are you tired of laying around yet, boozer? Hey, you can't be in come here, on, Deacon. Come on, hey, come what's on, going Deacon. on? How's he doing? He needs his rest. Uh, don't mess around with me, Eddie. I asked you, how was he doing? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, not good. Damn, it's cold. The They're not enough. They're never enough. Oh, wait a second. You said that I, I said that we would try. Look, all we can do is wait. Okay. All right. Deacon. No, Deacon. there's. Uh, you Deacon. know what? There's something I can do Deacon. about Deacon. this. Stop. I can get. Stop! What? I know you want to smash something. I see that look yes. in your eyes. Well, you know what? You go right ahead, but you do it out there. Daddy, go. I can... Look, <sighs> there is nothing else you can do. Please, just go home. Go home, Deacon. Deacon, Deacon. So, you gonna make it? Yeah, Schizo, he'll be fine. I just, he needs a few days. Come with me to the lodge. I wanna show you something. I got shit to do. I'm sticking my neck out here. Trust me, you're gonna wanna see this. Just, just listen. A couple of months back, this drifter comes into camp, telling all kind of crazy stories. He said he worked at the airport, was on the ground back in Farewell when shit went down. One night, they were expecting a flight in from Portland. Only it never shows up. The plane was doing a haul for the Red Funny. Cross. The Red He's Cross. Love it out here. Yeah. You getting it? My husband and I. Medicine, the doctor shit, time. cargo hold yeah. full of it. Maybe even some of those uh, anti uh, whatever the fucks. You know. Antibiotics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit like that. You can't do Just a like lot that. Of camping on these Where? Toilets. So this drifter. He's working in the control tower when the plane disappears off the radar. Poof. Now you see it, now you don't. Right about here. South of Mount Washington. That's what he said. It came down intact. A controlled crash or whatever. The guys got to listen to the pilot bleeding out from a broken pelvis on the ground. Okay, so you haven't sent anyone to find this. Nope. Why not? Because the old man won't have it. Iron Mike, what the... Oh, right. Rippers. <laughs> you catch on quick. Everything west of the Iron Ridge here belongs to Carlos and his merry band of bald-headed freak-alikes. Oh, so you go over there and you get caught. You head north, brother. Otherwise, Iron Mike's treaty with rest in peace goes... <laughs> yeah, no, no, like no, I get it, I get it. Let me ask you a question. Why are you telling me this? Oh, wait a minute. First off, I'm not telling you shit. You remember that. Second off, you're a goddamn drifter. What am I supposed to do? Follow you around like I'm your little bitch, keep your ass out of trouble? All right. I have things to do. I get it. You're just a regular stand-up guy, right, Schizo? Just trying to stay alive, like everybody else. <sighs> hey. You do what you gotta do. At the end of the day, that's all we got. 
Do you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying, Schizo. Keep your radio close. I'll be in touch. We offer a 30-day money-back guarantee, so as long as you never bring it back, Okay. Um, okay. Okay then. Thanks for stopping by. St. John, you there? Yeah, Schizo, I'm here. Now that business we were talking about, it's gonna take me a bit. I gotta go check on security at the border with Iron Butte. Check on the Rippers there, if you know what I mean. Uh, no, Schizo, I don't got a clue. Why don't you spell it out for me? Nice try, smartass. Remember, I'm going out on a limb here. Don't make me regret it. Anyway, I'll be in touch real soon. In the meantime, make yourself useful around camp. Prove Iron Mike was right for a change. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say. Whatever you say, St. John. Out. Hey, St. John. Where you at, brother? I'm here, Schizo. Hey, no skin off my nose. Just doing what I can to help you grow. That business we discussed? Let's just say uh, we should head out that way now. Oh, you mean the border with the rivers? Very funny. I meant no such thing. <laughs> All I said was, if you were thinking about taking a ride, or what do you drifters like to call it, ride in the open road, now would be a good time to do it. You got me? Yeah, Schizo, like always, I got you. St. John out.
Schizo, it's St. John. I'm at the border. You see any of my men around? No, Schizo, it's clear. Look, how much time do I got? Time? Time for what? All I know is I got a card game going on with a few of my guys. A couple of them maybe they should be out on guard duty, but I'm letting that slide. If I had to guess, I'd say we'd be playing all night. So until morning. Got it, Deacon out. Come on, die already, you son of a 
of a bitch. I get it? Jesus Christ. What? Tough. Son of a bitch. Antibiotics. Gotta find me some antibiotics. Yes, this will work. I gotta get him back to my bike. Please will fix him up, and then we ride out of here, head north, like he said. John, you there? Deke, this is Ricky. Over. Damn it, I can't let her know I'm out here. Hey, Ricky, this is Deke. Uh, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. Deke, where are you? I need to get... Oh, sorry, Ricky. I don't have time for this right now. Gunshots, what's going on? We had a run in with a few rippers, but I handled it. You handled it? What's the. How? I should have known. You should have known what? Jesus, Ricky, who's running security here? You know, I ask myself that shit every single day. I'm done here. Good. So, what are you doing out here? What am I doing, Dick? Addy told me to come and get you. Why? What? Hold on for a second. Is Boozer okay? I don't know. We gotta go. What's wrong with Boozer? All I know is Addy told me to find you. When I asked around, I found out you and Schizo were heading up here. Now I know why. I don't know what you're talking about. The crash site? The medical supplies? It's no big secret, Dee. Iron Mike was negotiating with Carlos, making a deal so our camp would split it with the Rippers. Oh, bullshit! What do you mean? I mean bullshit! I was there. At that cargo hold's already been looted. Tracks from the crash site all head south. Now, I've been dealing with the fucking Rippers for months. You can't trust a goddamn thing they say. Now you're sounding like Schizo. Schizo, he put you up to this. He told you about the crash site. <laughs> yeah, great! Now you're calling me Schizo's errand boy. No? Then how'd you find out about it? A drifter up at Copeland's camp. Like you said, it ain't no big secret. Yeah, right. Well, Schizo's been trying to pick a fight with the Rippers for months. Guess it's lucky you came along to do it for him. So let me ask you something. Can I stop you? Last time I saw you, before last winter, you told Iron Mike to go fuck himself because he wouldn't pay you to bring in survivors. It's not exactly what happened. I remember it pretty clearly. Iron Mike said he'd have nothing to do with slavers. Okay, we never forced anyone to come in against their will. How about Tucker? Same thing true for her? I don't know. You ever think when you roll up on someone, starving out in the shit maybe hasn't slept in days, reach the point where they stop running from men like you, you ever think they don't have a choice? But you took him to the hot springs just to say, earn a few camp credits. Everybody's got a choice, Deacon. It takes us a lot, too, bringing in someone who can't work, can't earn their way. You know, you just be glad that Iron Mike isn't like you. William. William, if you can hear me, I need you to stop. Addy, what's going on? Loser. <clears throat> Go and hold him. What the hell are you doing? Listen, what are you doing? Listen, I'm we need to do this arm. and we need to do this yeah. right now. You what? No. Huh? Don't you. F oh, don't no. you take Deacon. it! No, no. Deacon. No, you're not. No way. No, you're not going to do this. Deacon, listen to me. 
The antibiotics will save his life, but nothing on God's earth is gonna save the arm. Now listen, I need you to help me right now, or you can just watch your friend die. Okay. Andy, we're losing him. Stop. Wait. Okay. All right. All right, all right. Hey, pal. Hey, pal. All right, hey, I just need you to stay Hold with him. me. Hold him there. Okay. Hold him. Deke. Deke. Hold him down right there. Okay, okay, okay. Ah! Ah! Oh my goodness, I ah! it. We're losing. No, 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 he's losing too much blood. You gotta stop. He's losing too much blood. Hand me the gloves. Ah! 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 Oh! Oh, no, no. Boozer, come on, man. Come on. Hold him. Ah! Okay, pal, where? Where do I hold him? Just hold him right there. Stop panicking. I'm and crying. Hey, you did good in there. When I was in high school, I thought, hmm, maybe I should be a mechanical engineer, or should I be a surgeon? I guess I should have been a surgeon. <laughs> oh. And you. Hey, hey, okay. You know, you saved your friend's life today. I don't think he's gonna see it that way. Yeah, well, I think he will. I gotta go and give him his IV drip. And you know what, I don't know where you got all this, and I don't want to know, but it's gonna save a lot of lives, Deacon St. John. A lot of lives. I gotta go help Addie. Mike, just settle down, okay? Deacon, get out here! I heard what you did. I wasn't about to let him die. Mike, let it go. It's done. I know that, goddammit. Who's are gonna live? I don't know. But the Ripper saw you. Followed you back. When Carlos finds out about this, there's gonna be the devil to pay. Carlos can go fuck himself. You are writing checks with other men's blood. I hope you're good with that. You did what had to be done. Mike, wait up. Hello. Where? Yep, that's nice. Okay. Okay. Uh, yep. Hey, see ya. Here for your bike? Just looking around. I'll be here if you need me. Who the hell? Hell's my ratchet wrench. Later. Good to see you. Hold on. Ricky, what's up? I just wanted to say I'm, I'm sorry about what happened to Boozer. Yeah, probably not as sorry as he is. Look, 
Patty wanted you to know that if you hadn't brought her that list of knife, Boozer would be in a hell of a lot more pain right now. Yeah, well, it just made it easier for you to cart them up. Anyway, I... We hope he makes it. He's my friend, too, you know? Hey, listen, um... Thanks for bringing us in, Ricky. I, <clears throat> I gotta go. Deacon out. Brian, I'm at one of your beacons. Which one? What do you mean, which one? This Nero radio has a GPS, doesn't it? Yes, of course it does. I, uh, okay. Uh, you're at Olali Falls. Okay, good. Uh, keep an eye out. A field op is gonna be there any minute. Oh, Brian out. Oh, Brian! Oh, God damn it. Oh, Brian. Come in. Your friends are here. O'Brien. I told you they're not my friends. Okay, headed on foot. Yeah, 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 I know. Uh, what do you Let want me, me to do? Uh, use one down. of these tracking devices. Move out. No, Let me not this time. Clear. I'm already tracking this one. Follow the researcher. She's there to investigate an infected subject. The, the freak that was tagged in a nearby cave. A cave? You want me to follow armed Nero goons in? Brian. I'm still working on the info you want. Don't ask. Why the hell am I talking to you? Oh, Brian out. Sound off, people. I'm good. <laughs> clear. Yep, clear. LZ's clear. LZ's secure. What?
about the data. Receiving it now. Thank you, Drifter. What the hell is she talking about, O'Brien? About this virus, whatever the hell it is, or what, what it's doing? I want to know what the hell's going on, O'Brien. Why are they out here? What the fuck are you doing? O'Brien! Okay. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. Lost Lake to Deacon St. John. Are you there? Uh, yeah, Ricky, what's up? Iron Mike says you volunteered to stick around, do some runs for the camp, but that you refused to work for Schizo. Yeah, something like that. Well, I can't say I blame you. Okay, well, I guess I'm stuck with you. So stop by the mechanic shop, uh, we've got a job for you. Yeah, okay, Deacon out. Deacon St. John to Lost Lake Infirmary. Come back. Deke! Hey. Uh, feeling a little out of it, you know? You okay? What's going on? Boozer. Hey. Uh, nothing. I, uh... What? I'm tired of listening to the Radio Free Oregon. Can only take so much of his... Ah! Of his you know? What were you saying? Deke, uh... Aunt, Aunt told me how I'd be dead if it weren't for you. Getting the anti whatever the fuck, so... Uh, Boozer, I, uh... It must have been fun. Uh, holding me down while she fucking whacked away at me. <laughs> Remember how, uh... How Jack carved up that turkey last time we was all together? I <laughs> kept slipping all over the goddamn table. Yeah, booze man. Done, Boozer. It's done. It's over. Ah, uh, uh, can fix this. Sorry, I'm feeling, feeling a little it's woozy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hey, Addie's gonna kill me if she finds out you're out of bed fucking around. Yeah. Uh, I hear a monk uh, calling my name. Lost Lake Center. Hey, listen, Boozer. I know him. Let him in. Except this drifter comes in. Uh. What can I get for you? Oh, oh you, you're out of gas. <sighs> Bike's looking busted up. Hey, see you, Deke. <laughs> To see you, Deacon. What do you need? Alki. Powerful. 
good shot. You'll like this one. That's a good one. Can I get anything else for you? Thanks. What else can I do for you? Come by if you still need something. I'll see you later, man. Deacon! Sandy. Hey, me again. So, uh, I took Boozer into the Lost Lake camp and... I know. <laughs> I know, I told you I was never going back there with Iron Mike threatening to break my neck and all, but... Didn't have a choice. See, Boozer... Boozer was gonna die, and, uh... Well, he still didn't want to go. Hell, I didn't want to go, but... Like I said, didn't have a choice. Neither of us did, so it didn't matter. He, um... He lost the arm anyway, and and now he's stuck. I mean, we're stuck. <sighs> Goddamn schizo. You know, I can't remember if I told you about this clown, but he's the kind of asshole that's glad all this shit went down. <laughs> he says he was uh, gangbanging in Sacramento and Fresno. I don't remember, but he says he's not from around here, and he's he's not. Claims he was dealing drugs and guns from California to Oregon and then everything went to hell. And you know what? I think he's full of shit. To me, he kind of looks like a frat boy, like he was on the lacrosse team peddling sodas at a mini mart. Or... No, 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 man. He would have <laughs> he would have had a cushy job at his old man's accounting firm making copies and getting everyone their morning coffee. You know, making more in a day than I've ever made in a week. You know, it's this game. The boozer and I used to play before we rode out of Lost Lake for good. We used to call it uh, "Who You Were." You know, we'd look at someone, we'd try to guess who they were before the shit went down. You know, you know, I met a few drug addicts, a lot of ex-cons, uh, no accountants. So that makes sense if you think about it. First couple of weeks after the shit went down, I mean, Jesus, that was a freak show. There's no way some accountant or pencil pusher lived through that shit. So I don't know, maybe Schizo's telling the truth. I'm not sorry that you missed it. I'm not. Anyway, Boozer and I wanted to head north and get away from all this shit, but that, that ain't happening anytime soon, or, or happening ever. Uh, hey, <laughs> look on the bright side. Looks like you're uh, stuck with me. Okay, I'll stop by later. See you.
All right. Open it up. Deke, good to see you. That bike of yours. Need some fuel? Hey, hey, you take good care of her. See you around, Deke. Drifter, open up. I was in my classroom. You know, I taught English, small community college. Bunches stay at home. Oh, look at all this piling up. Gonna be here late. Hey, Ricky, you said you had a job for me? A hey, Deke. Two, yeah. You? You remember Shane Riley? Everyone called him Red. Red Riley. Yeah, never Red heard of him, but let me guess. Shoes. Ginger? What? Red hair? No. It was his boots. He wore these rattlesnake boots dyed with god-awful red color. He made quite the impression. <laughs> no, I bet. Anyway, he used to do runs for us back in the day until one day he decides he didn't like the camp credits we were paying. So he up and kills Lindsay Fuller. Who? Lindsay. Worked supply before Blair. Wait a second. So he killed an unarmed woman? Oh, she was armed. She just wasn't expecting him to shoot her in the face. Will you listen? So Red murders her, cleans out her supply hut, and then takes off before anyone knows what's happened. Got away clean. Oh, that son of a bitch. Until now. He and his men have been spotted up at Camp Pioneer. You don't gotta ask. I, uh, I got this thing about him. About killing unarmed women. I know. So I knew you'd want to handle it. Yeah, like I said, I got this covered. Um, what else can you tell me about him? Not much. Oh, wait. He chews tobacco. I heard he was such an addict that he rounds up cigarette butts, takes out the tobacco, and chews that. Well, that's disgusting. So now I got two reasons to kill him. Yeah, but be careful, Deke. Hey, Ricky, I'm a camp pioneer, and it is a goddamn war zone. What's going on? <clears throat> okay, uh, you were saying? What's going on? Are any of our guys there? Uh, no, I don't think so. It sounds like they're clearing freaks. Uh, don't worry. I'll find this guy. Deacon out. That's all of them. All right, Red, where the hell are you? Newts. Oh, wow, well, they're killing Newts. Okay, what's this? Okay, 
Yes, yes, cigarette butts, yes. Boot prints. Uh, these look like a uh, kind of prints that seem fancy. Finally, Jesus. Ah, that's tobacco's bed. Red Riley, you are one gross motherfucker. More group prints. Yeah, this way. There we go. Good. You're in. Jesus. Oh, if you gotta go, you gotta go.
You need something? Just looking around. Okay, okay. I'll top you off. Okay. Where the hell's my ratchet wrench? See you around. Find anything. Hey, hey, Ricky. I got him. Deacon, what a relief. Lindsay has some folks she was close to. I'll let him know. This thing yeah, is... okay. I'll see you around, Ricky. Completely broken. I've been uh, thinking about what you were saying about doing something to make a difference around here, pay back the camp. I'm listening. Do you got a few minutes? I want to show you something. Yeah, guess I can spare you a minute or two. So where are we heading? You ever been out to the caves north of the lake? I know. Come on. See if you can keep up. Okay. Let's go. I got marsh duty anyway this morning. Gotta see if any freaks are stuck in the muck out that way. When's the last time you went up there? Been a few years, I guess. When I was a boy, we used to live in that damn cave. The old man sort of fancied himself a geologist. Sounds like we got a couple. Freaks stuck in the mud, I mean. Yeah, sounds like. Here, let me take it. Alright. I'm not gonna let you do that. Hey, it's work. I think Schizo's just found a new man for the job. You know what Schizo can go do. Anyway, as I was saying, we spent hours talking about how all these caves were formed when. Lava flows would harden on the outside, but the molten cores would still flow like buried rivers. You got the big caves that drew in the tourists, like Metolius up there. And there's way more than that. Riddled all over these parts. Okay, okay, we're coming up on the highway. We gotta be quiet. All right, get down. Get down. Jesus Christ! This is why you brought me out here? Smell a bunch of goddamn freaks? Yeah. Okay, okay. Come on, follow him. Wait, wait, wait. Follow him. Where the hell are we going? You'll see. Come on. Close. Stay down. What the hell are we doing, Deke? This doesn't seem all that smart, even for a goddamn drifter. Hold up, hold up. You remember telling me about how the tourists used to flood up from California in the summer, choke off Highway 97 and the I-5 freeway? <laughs> yeah, in July, folks smelled almost as bad as these here freaks. Well, you weren't wrong about one thing. These freaks, the big groups, the ones that some call hordes, I think they're the reason we can't get their numbers down. What do you mean? Think about it, man. I've been out here in the shit collecting bounties for more than a year. Yeah. Boozer too. Ricky, Schizo, yeah. a few others. How many freaks you think I killed? A few. A few. Yeah, but their numbers never go down. You got a point? It's these hordes. Every night, there's a steady stream of them up and down the Sandium Highway. Thousands of freaks pouring into the Lost Lake Valley, north of the Cascades. And you think they're coming up from California? Highway's closed off. No one's been south of the Santium Pass in years. It's not closed off to the hordes. Freaks are the reason it's closed off. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that the hordes come in every night. Not a goddamn thing we can do to stop them. Well, you got that much right. Lost more than a few men trying to back in the day. Yeah, I know. I was there. And every horde 
that comes through leaves a few stragglers or gets busted up and scatters and, and just like that, freaks everywhere as far as the eye can see. You don't need to see them to know that they're around. We figure out a way to stop the hordes coming through. Maybe we can make some headway, reduce their numbers. Make it safer. Free up more farmland, irrigation. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do that? You know goddamn well you can't take on a, a, a whatever you call it, a, a horde? This is how. I'll be goddamn. Yeah. They stand there all day, hibernating or whatever the hell freaks do. So, what are you thinking that we. Yep. We blow it the hell up. Stick it down to my there, there, and there. We'll bring down a mountain of rock. We seal this shit up. Yeah, so we trap a few hundred inside. What good is that gonna no, do? No, no, you don't get it. We seal this cave. Maybe they don't got no place to sleep. Or maybe this trail of piss and shit dries out, goes stale, and others stop coming. Yeah. All right. All right. You get my attention. Okay. Come on. Let's head back. All right. My knees are warmed up a bit. Let's see if you can keep up. Yeah, okay. Tell me, when does being out in the shit make you an expert on freaks? You spend your spare time just following them around, seeing what makes them tick? Not exactly. And how do you know about all this? About what a horde's gonna do, where they sleep? A few days ago, I was riding north of Belknap Crater when a chopper flew by. A chopper? What the hell? Just listen to me. It was a black chopper. One of those Nero choppers that used to fly all over the goddamn place when the shit was going. I followed them. I stole one of their radios. I've been trying to track them down, see if they have a base around here. Supplies. Shit, I mean, see if the feds are still alive. You know what I'm saying? They're out here doing field work of some kind on the freaks. They're studying them. They got resources to do that. While we're out here... I followed them up to the Grotto Caves. You know the ones? Yeah. They had motion sensors set up, measuring how many freaks used the cave during the day, and, uh, Mike, it was thousands. That right. They said freaks all up and down the Cascade Range, south of Crater Lake and north up to Smith Rock, all used these lava tube caves to hibernate. So, we blow up those caves, maybe we have a few less to deal with. Hey, this idea of yours, it's got some merit, but a job like that, it's gonna take a fair amount of TNT. He said you wanted help making Lost Lake safer, this is how we do it. <sighs> All right. All right, look, there's some things I gotta do, okay? But you meet me at the bridge in a couple of minutes. I know where we can find some.